Greg at Commercial Business Machines back again today to talk about scanning. I want to talk to you today about one of the Kyocera applications that they have. Today we're going to talk about pinpoint scan. For quite some time in the copier world where we've had scanning, we've been able to connect for scanning in one of two ways. We either scan to folder, and that requires that we use a Microsoft protocol, and the good news is when it works, it's awesome. When it doesn't work, it's way less than awesome, and we know that because we get the phone calls. The other way was to connect for scan to email. Again, that also is, is great when it works, but it had an additional challenge in that scanning to email simply used email as a method to get the document to you. Thankfully, we have a way better way to connect the dots now for scanning, and that's with this pinpoint application. It stabilizes everything where we're not relying on a third party, as good as Microsoft is. We're not relying on them at all. We have control now of the variables because Kyocera has the app, and we can do way more functionality, have more, way more control with it, and it does not even require an IT professional to set it up. Anybody in your office can install it and set it up. Let me show you how it works. Come on in here to the copier, and let me show you how it works. So on our machine that we have here today, we've got uh, a home screen, which simply means that we can add icons to the touch panel. And you see that we've got pinpoint scan here. So let me tell you, as we touch pinpoint, all we're going to do is enter a four-digit pin. It could be any, but in this case, a four-digit pin that connects us to the PC. We tend to use the... Uh, uh, extension number for each phone, but we could use any number that you'd like. And so now you see we've connected with Sean's PC. Now, the destinations that you see here are those that we have on his PC. This is completely customizable to every user that you have for whatever their needs are. We're just going to show you what some of the options are uh, that Pinpoint can do. One of the favorite ones that uh, most of our clients especially like with Pinpoint is the scan to email because that makes the biggest difference from what they're accustomed to. So notice no folders to drill down here uh, through because we're, we're going to scan to email differently. So here we're going to name the document and so we'll clear out the default name and we can make that default name anything that you want as well. <clears throat> Having done that, so now when we scan to email, the unique part of this is instead of using email as a method to deliver the document to you, this now does it correctly, which presumes that you actually want to email the document to someone. So even if you had Outlook closed, it'll launch Outlook, open an outgoing email, attach that scanned document to the outgoing email, and by the time you get back to your PC, it's waiting for you there with that uh, outgoing email, waiting for you to enter the one thing it cannot know. Who do you want to send that email to? And if you wanted to add something to the body of the outgoing email, you could do that as well. Now that scanned the email, because you're actually emailing the document to someone, not simply using email as a method to get the document to you. To you as an attachment to an email, and now, now that it's sent to you that way, you just have to right button click and file save as, and then you've got your document. But, but it's just a delivery method to get the document to you. That's really not scanned email. This is scanned email because it presumes that you actually want to email the document to somebody. What a crazy novel thought there, huh? Well, here it is. So even if Outlook were not open at your PC, uh, Pinpoint would open it for you, and then it would open an outgoing email, and here it is, and it would attach that document, that PDF that we scanned, there it is again, that two-page doc, attach itself to that outgoing email, waiting for you to then enter what? Who do you want to send that guy to? So all you have to do is enter the recipient, put your subject line in if you want, and then you have your body of your email to enter whatever your topic is. But you're emailing it to someone, and that's radically different than just simply having uh, email used as a delivery method to get the document to you. Our clients absolutely love this.